Hello and welcome to Drama Recaps. Today we'll delve into the details of a drama film named, Closer. Spoilers ahead. In the bustling heart of London, a young writer named Dan strolls along the busy streets. His gaze is drawn to a vibrant young woman sporting fiery red hair. They share an electrifying glance, both breaking into subtle smiles. Unaccustomed to the British driving customs, the woman looks the wrong way before crossing the street. This leads to an unexpected encounter with an oncoming car. Dan, witnessing the incident, rushes over to assist the seemingly foreign lady. Thankfully, her injuries are minor, just a scraped knee and a few bruises. Dan escorts her to the nearest hospital where they strike up a conversation and begin to connect. Upon exiting the hospital, their path leads them past a poignant memorial park from Dan's youth, dedicated to brave individuals who lost their lives in the line of duty. They board a bus and continue to exchange life stories. Dan, an aspiring author who currently writes obituaries, learns that the woman, Alice Ayers, hails from America and works as a stripper in New York City. She admits to fleeing a toxic relationship back home. After arriving at Dan's office, he hesitates, but finally admits to having a girlfriend before parting ways with Alice. Fast forward a year, Dan and Alice are now a couple and Dan has penned a book based on his love affair with Alice. At a cozy art studio, Dan is having his photograph taken by Anna for his newly published book's cover. Anna, an American photographer, usually captures strangers in her frames and discloses her fondness for taking photos at the aquarium. She shares with Dan that she's in the midst of a separation from her husband and expresses her admiration for his book, which she has read and relished. In the midst of an intimate moment, Dan and Anna share a kiss. However, Anna recoils when she learns that Dan is involved with someone else and the narrative of his book revolves around her. Despite his impassioned declaration of feelings and his yearning to see her again, she insists he move past it. At this moment, the doorbell interrupts, Alice has finished her shift at a local coffee shop and arrived to see Dan. He invites her up to the studio where she meets Anna. Alice's hair, now in its natural medium brown shade, has grown out. She requests Anna to take her picture, and Dan steps out for a while to give them space. As Anna prepares the shot, Alice admits that she overheard their earlier conversation through the intercom. Anna begins to apologize, but an emotional Alice sternly demands she just take the photo. Later, Dan is at home, amusing himself in an online dating chat room, masquerading as a woman. He strikes up a conversation with a man named Larry who reveals his profession as a dermatologist. When Larry inquires about a name, Dan cheekily provides him with Annis. The conversation evolves into an explicit exchange, culminating with Dan proposing they meet at the aquarium in person, as a joke. To his surprise, Larry shows up at the aquarium the following day, coincidentally crossing paths with the real Anna. Larry approaches Anna, and they quickly piece together that they've been victims of Dan's prank. While Larry feels humiliated, Anna takes the incident lightly, sparking a connection between them. Four months later, Dan and Alice are preparing to attend Anna's art exhibition. During this time, it's revealed that Dan's father has recently passed away. Following the exhibition, Dan intends to go to the countryside for the funeral. Alice offers to accompany him, but he insists on going alone. At the exhibition, they encounter the picture Anna took of Alice, featuring her teary-eyed expression. While Alice studies the photograph, she encounters Larry. They share a brief, slightly flirtatious conversation. It becomes clear that Larry and Anna are an item when Anna approaches and greets him. As the four of them interact, it becomes glaringly obvious that Dan still harbors feelings for Anna. Anna proceeds to recount the amusing tale of how she and Larry met, even dubbing him their personal Cupid as a jest. We also learn that Dan's book wasn't a success, and he's gone back to writing obituaries. Shortly after the exhibition, Dan puts Alice in a taxi, claiming that he's off to his father's funeral. However, he actually goes back into the venue to engage in yet another dialogue with Anna. Fast forward another year, Dan comes home to Alice. Initially, he spins a tale about being at a business dinner, but he eventually confesses to having an affair with Anna since the night of the art exhibition. Simultaneously, Anna and her now husband, Larry, who has just returned from a business trip, are together. 
Anna initially keeps her affair with Dan a secret. However, when Larry admits to sleeping with a prostitute while away, feeling guilty for lying to her, Anna tries to soothe him, asserting it's alright. At this point, she reveals her ongoing affair with Dan. Enraged, Larry questions why she married him at all. Anna explains she had tried to end things with Dan when she and Larry decided to get married, but the affair picked up again. Larry, seething with anger, demands explicit details about her relationship with Dan, which she hesitantly shares. Overcome with fury, Larry tells Anna to leave. Back at Dan's apartment, Alice is distraught and crying. Dan tries to comfort her, expressing remorse for his actions. Alice, heartbroken, leaves the apartment, leaving Dan unaware of her whereabouts. Six months later, Larry finds himself in a strip club. He spots Alice, working as a stripper, in provocative attire and a pink wig. Larry arranges a private dance with her in a secluded room, to which she readily agrees. Post-dance, Alice playfully introduces herself as Jane Jones, part of her stripper persona. Larry, caught in the throes of his tumultuous divorce from Anna, is emotionally distraught. He grows exasperated with Alice's playful antics and accuses her of not taking him seriously. But when he requests a more intimate view of her, she accedes to his request. A few months down the line, Anna is rushing to meet Dan at a music concert, arriving late. As they sit for a drink, we learn that earlier in the day, Anna had met Larry to get him to sign the divorce papers. However, Dan quickly surmises that Anna slept with Larry that day. A flashback shows Larry suggesting he would sign the divorce papers if Anna would sleep with him one last time. Although reluctant, she agrees in the hope of ending the entire situation once and for all. Anna reassures Dan that Larry only had her body, nothing more. But this does not ease Dan's frustration. Some time later, Dan storms into Larry's office, enraged. He informs Larry that Anna has left him and returned to Larry, blaming him for the situation. In a surprising twist, Larry reveals that Anna never actually filed the divorce papers. Larry explains that Anna is drawn back to him due to her inclination towards tumultuous relationships and her addiction to sadness. Despite this, Larry loves her and chooses to be with her. Larry initially displays anger towards Dan, but this morphs into sympathy upon seeing the depth of Dan's heartbreak. Larry advises Dan to find Alice again. Dan confesses he has no idea where she might be. Larry shares the information about the strip club where Alice works, reassuring him that he did not sleep with her when he visited. However, as Dan leaves, Larry admits that he did indeed have a sexual encounter with Alice. Dan makes his way to the strip club, spotting Alice on stage. Their eyes meet and a visible sense of joy flashes across their faces. Later, Alice and Dan find themselves together in a hotel room near Heathrow Airport, appearing genuinely content. Alice reveals her plan to return to New York and invites Dan to accompany her as a special gesture. She notes that it's the anniversary of their initial encounter on a London street corner four years ago, to which Dan reflects on the swift passage of time. Dan questions Alice about sleeping with Larry, to which she adamantly denies. Still, Dan insists on the truth. Eventually, he decides to step out to buy cigarettes, promising to continue the conversation upon his return. Just before he leaves, Dan has a change of heart. He returns to Alice, presenting her with a flower. In reply, she confesses that her love for him has faded. She explains that her feelings dwindled because he kept pressing for the truth about her encounter with Larry. Eventually, she admits that she did sleep with Larry on the night they met at the strip club. Dan divulges that he's known the truth all along and has already forgiven her. But Alice has reached her breaking point and asks him to leave. As the tension mounts, she starts yelling at him, prompting him to slap her. Taken aback by his violent reaction, Dan leaves the hotel room. Alice returns to New York on her own, leaving Dan behind in London. As he passes by the park where they first met, he notices that one of the names on the memorial wall is Alice Ayres. Meanwhile, in New York, as Alice goes through immigration, her passport reveals her real name to be Jane Jones, the name she'd given to Larry at the strip club when he'd asked for it.